things have improved a little bit. Uh, but you're right, they're shocking figures. How in this day and age can you have figures still, you know, um, where you've got such a disparity in terms of the executives is, is actually very key. I think, you know, the non-executive uh, sort of membership is moving. It's moving slowly. But you know, there's a lot of people who haven't had experience of being a non-exec. And I think that certainly, if, if there was one thing I could do, you know, for over the next five years is to say, let's, we have lots of good, young, bright people, you know, people of colour across the board. They need some experience in being a non-executive director. That's a lot of people don't have that Um you know, so I think that, and it's a, it's a different set of skills because um, you're not running things. You are overseeing, you're challenging. It, it, it's a different piece. The executive piece, now, if, you, if you're running a hospital, you know, a healthcare service where you haven't got people of colour at the executive level, that's where day-to-day -day decisions are made. And, you know, when you've got 25% of, of thereabouts of the NHS uh, from a black and Asian background to say you haven't got even 10%, 15% to make it to executive levels, that's, you know, that's difficult to stomach um, in 2024.